Hello everyone. Today I am going to give you a little bit knowledge about the anatomy of Borrelia diffusa. I have made discussion about Nyctanthes, Dracaena, Acheiranthes, etc. You can watch in my channel if you want, if you need about them also so without delaying i am going to enter in the today's topic that is borrelia diffusa anatomies are quite interesting to learn if you remember the detailed figure of transfer section it is just easy to explain first you focus on the figure see the figure properly and listen to me carefully you can see that it its transfer section uh, the outline of transfer section is circular so first one is the epidermis here like simply in other description of anatomy epidermis is single layered which consists of small radially elongated cells Multicellular epidermal hair arise from some cells. A thick cuticle is present on the epidermis. Some stomata are also present. Second is the cortex. It is well differentiated and consists of few layers of cholenchymitis. Hypodermis, cholenchymitis hypodermis, like in monocotysteme, followed by the chlorenchyma. Cholenchyma is 3 to 4 cells deep but generally near stomata. You can see in the figure. It is one layered. Chlorenchyma is present inner to the cholenchyma. Chlorenchyma means it contains chloroplast and in cholenchyma it has deposition of pectin and cellulose without intercellular space as intercellular space is totally filled by pectin and cellulose. In the form of 3 to 7 layers, chlorine chymatous cells are thin walled over full of chloroplast and so it may help in photosynthesis and enclose many intercellular spaces. The third one is endodermis which is clearly developed and made up of many tubular thick walled cells. And the fourth one is pericycle inner to endodermis. Parenchyma is pericycle, but at some places it is represented by isolated patches of sclerenchyma. At some places only it has patches of sclerenchyma. And the fifth one is vascular system. Vascular bundles are present in three rings. In the innermost ring, there are two large bundles. You can see in the figure. Vascular bundles of innermost and middle rings are called medullary bundles. Vascular bundles are conjoint, means both the xylem and phloem are in the same bundle. Collateral, which means xylem is towards the center and phloem is towards the periphery and it is endarch type. Two vascular bundles of innermost ring are large, oval and lie out opposite to each other with their xylem facing towards center and phloem outwards. Cambium develops secondarily from pericycle and becomes active. It cuts the secondary phloem towards outer side and secondary xylem towards inner side. I'm repeating, it cuts secondary phloem towards outside periphery. It is outside and secondary xylem which is towards the center, so it cuts towards inner side. Due to these changes, primary phloem becomes crossed and present next to pericycle and primary xylem is situated near the pith so last one is the pith it is well developed parenchymatous and present in the center now anomalous structure of boravia diffusa you can see in the figure that tears of human steam shows two medullary bundles the bundles of middle ring increases in thickness to a limited extent by a fascicular cambium and the third one is the cambium ceases. It ceases to function.
it means the work of cambium activity of cambium is stopped it is ceased and new male stem arises in the secondary parenchymal tissue to which first has given an outline sorry and are uh, given on outside and it repeats at intervals and it also has interxylary phloem and medullary bundle so these are the anomalous structure of body we are diffusa i hope by looking towards the figure and listening to my voice you have understood about the transfer section of borivia let me tell you that it belongs to the family nictaginaceae so if you are finding my video useful then subscribe my channel it will help you to find my other videos easily and if you have any problem in any kind of topic then you can comment me i will try to make that particular topic easy for you so thanks for watching